Uh, here we are, and at this time yesterday, I said I would not be surprised if here on GMJ Sunday morning, this would already be upgraded to a high risk of tropical development. And yep, you know, it, let's talk about this and let's kind of break this down now. No hype or anything, but let you know what we're looking at, at least at this time. And as I mentioned, the NHC does have a high risk out of it. Uh, it actually has some pretty decent convection kind of swirling off this, especially for a wave that just came off the coast of Africa. In fact, if you kind of take a close look and we're looking at some of our satellite products, there is a broad circulation in here. So I would not be surprised if this does get upgraded to a tropical depression as we go ahead through today or probably more so in the Monday into Tuesday. Um, if it does get named, which do anticipate it will be called Aaron with an E E R I N. All right, so here's a look at some of our spaghetti models. And basically, this is a consensus with a lot of our numerical guidance showing this go towards the west along the southern periphery of the Bermuda High, which is going to be off here towards the north. And that's kind of the main steering component with this. But once it starts to round that, there is this is over a week out, right? So there's a lot of questions that could be had. Could we have a trough dip down and kind of yank it towards the north? Or would that high pressure build back in and steer it towards the west? These are some of the options that are on the table at this time. Still far too early to say, yes, this is going to happen. I had somebody ask me yesterday, is it going to rain at their house on the 20th? And I was like, all right, we got to stand by. Most of the guidance is keeping it out to sea, at least for the time. So that's promising, but there is still some uh, uncertainty here to talk about. Uh, we don't need the hat over our heads, 